So welcome to another video. This is my first one outdoors and hopefully the wind isn't going to uh, make my hair go too crazy. Um, but as you can see, I'm actually here at the Excel Center and I've got kind of a very different sort of video that I'm going to be doing today. And uh, today's one is about just making sure that you are getting yourself out of the house and you are doing the things that you want to do. However geeky, however weird or out there, but you are doing things that make you happy and are encouraging you to be socializing. So I'm here at the Excel Center and I'm gonna be attending a Pokemon event. Yes, I did say that right. Uh, now, growing up, I used to be a huge fan of, uh, of Pokemon and it just so happened that there was a convention going on at the Excel Center. And I said to my brother, uh, or I reached out to him and I said, you know what, Mark, let's do something a little bit geeky. Let's catch up, it'd be good to see you. Why don't we go to this Pokemon event? And of course he grew up with it as well. And, uh, and he was down for it. He was like, yeah, let's do it. And we're gonna be having a wander around. I'm gonna definitely include clips of it in this video. But the main takeaway that I wanna really just express here is that there is nothing wrong with being into really geeky things. Uh, you will definitely meet people who are into just as many geeky things as you are. And it's just something then to be able to connect with people on as well. And you can't always just be staying indoors. It's really to try and get yourself out of the house, mingle with people. And even if you are someone who is incredibly anxious, there is absolutely nothing wrong with just going out, even if you don't talk to people, but just explore, just see what your environment or your location has to offer. And obviously London has just so many options anyway. Oh, it has gone windy. Um, but I do hope at least that you enjoy the exploration. I've got plenty of dad jokes lined up to, uh, to share. So we'll see how uh, my brother enjoys them. Um, but more importantly, it's gonna be good to just be spending time with my brother talking about the most ridiculous things. I mean, we're both grown ups. I mean, I'm 36 and he's 30, but it's just gonna be a laugh. It's just gonna be fun. So the main takeaway, just to wrap it before it does get too windy and that I don't end up repeating myself. Uh, and in fact, actually, it's been quite a good gauge to just be filming myself out in public because uh, I'm so used to filming other clients rather than uh, being the one in front of the camera and certainly getting that spotlight effect. But truth be told, no one actually gives a toss because everyone's filming themselves as well. So there you go, it would be a good exercise to do in that. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's gonna be great just to spend time with him. Um, so get yourself out of the house, go explore, find reasons to go and talk to people, especially if it's with people who have very similar interests and hobbies to yourself as well, or spend time with people that, you know, are part of your social circle or just people that you care about and uh, just have fun. So enjoy the rest of this video. Enjoy seeing a lot of geeky stuff and definitely let me know in the comments below if you're into Pokemon and uh, what are some of your favorite things about it. Uh, but other than that, definitely like and subscribe to my channel uh, where hopefully I can carry on inspiring you to uh, go out, overcome your anxiety, however big or small it is. Come right here, didn't <laughs> yeah, well, you're taller than me as well. <laughs> infinite number of Pokeballs. What was your favourite Pokemon, Mark? Nidoran. What? Why? <laughs> <In Okay. Norway. laughs> really? Uh, well, out of every every single Pokemon, be the one that you would go for? Yeah. But I'd train it to become a Nidoran. Oh, would you? Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I think um, Pikachu still rubs off on me. There's just something really shocking about it. You'd have a Tangela. <laughs> <laughs> Or a chance. <laughs> Straight in. What, what is that? I don't know. Do you reckon he probably needs some paracetamol, Mark? Yeah. Do you reckon he needs some paracetamol? Uh, yeah. I reckon side up is another one you'd have. Oh yeah. <laughs> It'd probably give you a massive headache. Though, yeah. Look, it's massive. I mean, I know I'm not like big, but I mean that's bigger than me. Yeah. 
Look, this is where they ran, really run out of ideas. It's just a it's the one. It's like a toffee. <laughs> Right, I am home now and I thought I'd just shoot one last little bit for this video uh, in regards to what the experience was like and uh, and what sort of advice I think I would give to guys who are trying to uh, get themselves out of the house just that little bit more and what sort of baby steps or incremental steps could you take to just be more confident in places like the uh, the Pokemon event that I went to. And um, my brother and I, we were really geeky. We did actually buy like a load of stuff. In fact, we actually bought some, uh, some Pokemon cards uh, as well. Sadly, it didn't get anything uh, too spectacular. So I won't be walking away with a, a Charizard and neither will he. Um, but it, it was just so good being able to catch up with him and just joke around and ask each other questions about like our favorite Pokemon or uh, what episodes we remember that aired on TV like two decades ago and stuff. So it was really, really good. Um, I mean, we thoroughly enjoyed it. In the end, though, I didn't take as much uh, video footage as I thought I would. It started to get really, really busy there. And to no surprise at all, I think there was more adults there than there were of kids. Um, it's such a uh, generational um, uh, product, I would say, that, you know, I grew up with it when I think I was, what, like 10, 11 years old and my brother um, at the time being like five or six. So it was crazy to, you know, see not just all the old Pokemon that, that we remember, but just how ridiculous and out there some of all like the new ones were. Um, but it was it was fun nonetheless. And, you know, we had our wander around. We bought lots of bits and pieces. Um, and then afterwards, when we were done, because we were there for a good like three, three and a half hours, I think. Um, we then went to a, a sushi restaurant um, and just carried on sort of like talking about all the stuff there and, and having a proper catch up uh, that wasn't Pokemon related. Uh, but what was funny, though, is at the end when we'd finished our food, we were sitting there and opening those Pokemon cards and like taking turns. And what was just so funny is we were, we noticed like the chefs were watching us opening it and their curiosity was kicking in. And also we'd seen like, and heard a couple of families that were nearby walking past going like, I want to go to the Pokemon event. I want to go, you know? Uh, so it was, it was really funny. Like, you know, considering how someone might feel very anxious about even being into Pokemon. It was amazing how even just outside of the Pokemon environment, how into Pokemon some people were. And, you know, and they saw us like walking around with the bags in central London as well. And that also got people's curiosity. So you never know what people's interests are until you probably speak to them. Which leads me on to the last thing that I definitely want to mention is if you are going to go and put yourself in a place like with the Pokemon thing or maybe just into a hobby or an interest that you've got um, in wherever that might be in London or elsewhere, you know, what things could you do to just integrate yourself more into a more sociable state? And um, thinking about the the Pokemon event, I mean, there were people who were wearing uh, Pokemon cosplay outfits and all sorts of anime looks and stuff, it would have, I think, been very easy to have gone over and asked if I could have had a photo with them or asked them uh, or complimented them on their outfit and asked them how long it took to make. And even then, there was just so many products around from like the plush toys, which, you know, I definitely bought bought a lot i mean like this i'm going to definitely give this to my uh my niece uh in september so i'm going to be holding on to this but i mean i bought like loads of different uh pokemon things but i even got got a pokeball as well um and uh and when when my niece is sleeping she'll be cuddling with like a small x um and uh and even got got a volpix as well it's upside down there we go and and hitting the microphone at the same time so um uh, you know, there, but there were so many products and things from like plush toys to the trading cards to like clothes and things like even if I was on my own and I'd gone somewhere there, I could have easily have like asked people questions about the products just to get me in the mood 
of just talking to people if i wasn't brave enough to strike all the cards are moving in that uh if i wasn't brave enough to strike a conversation and um uh, and talk about pokemon with people but everyone there was so friendly like my brother and i were mostly talking to each other um again with how busy it was it you know you couldn't really uh necessarily just start having random conversations with people but it would have been just so easy to um i mean there were just some moments where my brother and i were having photos taken and people were quite happy to jump in and say would you like me to take the photo for you or like oh wow that looks great where did you get get that item from and stuff it would have been just so easy to do it. And I think even as well with buying the Pokemon cards and opening them, it would have been also easy to have just gone up to someone who may have also have bought Pokemon cards and say, look, should we open them together and see what we each get? And uh, maybe you want us to do a swap or something. Now, there was also a tournament going on there, which my brother and I didn't go and take a look at because we didn't get any tickets to go and watch that or or uh, be previewing it. But even then, there would have been an opportunity had we have signed up to that and had we have been maybe more professional experts at playing Pokemon cards. But imagine then you would have had the opportunity to have sat, spoken to other people, talked about the different decks that they've got, what their best combinations of cards were, maybe what like the rarest cards they have, what their favorite collections are. It would have been very easy um, to just talk about anything literally Pokemon related. Everyone there, as I say, was like grown-ups, but they had all their geeky sides to it. And I, I did spot a celebrity or two there, which uh, I will keep them about, but um, it was just a really, really great experience. And to be able to even just talk about, uh, you know, a silly topic and have fun with it and just go there to enjoy myself and be in an environment where I kind of could tell that there were other people who probably had anxiety or were anxious being there as well. It would have been not a problem to go and speak to people. So if you're thinking about maybe going to a Pokemon event, maybe you're into your uh, your movies or your comics, or maybe you've got some other hobbies or interests and stuff, whether it be geeky or not doesn't really matter, but put yourself in these environments and you'll find as well that if you have got questions, if you want to try and connect with people, it's a lot less scary than you think. Everyone in that place would have been welcoming to having a conversation talking about Pokemon. I think even the most stupidest question about Pokemon would have been welcomed as well. So be rest assured, if you go somewhere and meet people who have very similar interests to you, you'll find it just so much easier to connect than perhaps maybe if you're going out practicing cold approaching and trying to talk to strangers and figuring out if you've got something in common with each other, uh, especially if it's not in an environment where there is a theme of something going on. So I really hope that you can take away from this video the idea of at least getting yourself out of the house go and do something that you want to do, whether it be on your own or with people that you know, go to a place that has that thing that you've got an interest in and meet people and talk to people who have that same thing in common with you. And be rest assured, you will find it effortless, really, really effortless um, to be able to connect with people. And everyone would be just so welcoming um uh to uh welcome you into uh what you want to um talk about with those topics now i'm kind of exhausted it has been a very long day so i will uh, certainly wrap it there i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below this video and again like i mentioned at the excel center if you can please like the video subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on more content that's going to help you with your anxiety and certainly meeting people in the realm of dating and in fact actually bringing it back to dating it would have been easy to have spoken to women at the event there were some really attractive girls that were around it would have been so easy to have gone up to them and just strike a conversation i think about pokemon that they were looking at or some of the cards that they bought or some of the clothes that they were looking at or plush toys and stuff i yeah it's a shame actually i didn't get an opportunity to film something of that but 
Um, it is what it is. My brother and I were just focusing on us during that time. But yeah, like the video, subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on more things. I've been Dan, that dating anxiety guy. And again, thank you for so much for watching. And um, I think I'm going to go to, well, probably I'll go to sleep now, but I'll probably go and make myself a cup of tea and just put my feet up and relax.